here and guess what i am the only person at the gym like literally look there's no cars out here at all i don't know if you can see but there's nobody here like I'm, oh lord let me cut this down i'm the only one here but it's all good let's go get it yeah look only one here only one here can't show my license place but yeah literally only one here <laughs> what a day what a day let's get in here let's get it guys oh <sighs> Let me get a good look at that. Hey. Empty, empty, empty. Kind of feels good being the only one in here, though. <laughs> All right, let's get it in, guys. Twisters and the aching and, I, and pain I've been feeling in my hips, I can feel it like them twist, like literally touch the area. Like it's, you know, so I'm gonna have to keep, I'm gonna keep trying them to see if that help. Cause maybe I did something. I'm thinking maybe I did something with my hips or something. Um, I don't know. Cause they've just been aching. Like when I sit down and get up, it's been like pain in my hips. If I sit for long periods of time or do certain things, it's always when I sit and get up, I feel a difference. So I don't know, I don't know. All right, y'all, let's go get some cardio in. just barely a mile all right guys so today as you can see I'm working on legs and as I said I always want to start off with some cardio and cardio to cool down so to warm me up stretch do whatever I'm gonna do for the day and then also do a cool down on the machine which is what I'm gonna be doing today so I did multiple reps at a lower weight on my legs today basically what I did was let me look around and see I think I did all the leg machines because I don't see any more and then tomorrow will be cardio um, and I'm gonna do like a mix-up workout a week cardio days and then the days where I focus on different parts but yeah all these are arms yeah this all arms and stuff so yeah, I did the leg. See, that's the um the press that you put your own weight on. But yeah, I'm gonna stick with these until I build my legs up more. Oh wait, hold up. What's this? This look like the booty. Oh yeah, I can do this because this basically is a part of my my um legs, my butt and down. So let's try this one, y'all. Hold on, let me get my stuff.
that's the importance of getting a tour in a gym because a lot of this equipment may look familiar but it works differently and it adjusts differently for you to actually feel the actual workout how it should be so he was just showing me how to do it um but when i got my tour i never really went into this stuff up here so he showed me and after he did i felt a different oh my gosh y'all the stair climber oh my gosh your girl is getting ready to get on it and i'm gonna do it for five minutes i'm really supposed to be cooling down but i wanted to do more on my legs so watch me work and i'm gonna speed it up listen bay bay <laughs> this is no freaking joke i'm gonna stop it so you can see how slow i'm going because this speed makes me look like i am superwoman on this boy and no not yet <laughs> Mm -hmm. yep this is what's really going on okay because this is no freaking joke on your legs at all ladies it may look like this is nothing but if you have ever ever tried the stair climber step or whatever you want to call it most people can't even go over a minute or two i'm talking people who are average overweight people like myself or a little bit bigger or even smaller the guy that works here said his sister couldn't even go over three minutes so i was really proud of myself because i did more than this the last time i showed you guys this which was a couple weeks ago and i've been scared to get back on it but i said i'm gonna keep trying until i strengthen my legs and get better at this because i know this is a great workout five minute on this, getting ready to cool down on the treadmill. And that's right. All right guys, so I am at a 1.5 and I have it on a nine incline and this is a cool down. So I'm not gonna be going too fast because I don't want to, to heat the body back up. So that's why I'm doing this just as a cool down. And I wanted you guys to see how slow I was really going to show you the difference between a cool down and a warm up. Five minutes. I had it on uh, um, nine, but I was going at 1.5. Yep. So the only person here, and I'm about to go to my favorite spot. Bam! Turn the TV like it's mine, <laughs> and get my life together. I don't know what time it is. I think I'm gonna keep my water in my hand this time. All right, let me get myself situated. So, I don't know what's going on with this TV, but I guess I can talk to y'all about kind of what I'm feeling. Um, oh my gosh, legs was a struggle. Y'all see that I did the treadmill. I did the treadmill on low, but a high incline because that's a form of strength training as well because you're like pulling and um, using like your body weight. I'm pulling my body weight up like a hill. You get what I'm saying? So, being that I did legs today, tomorrow, I would do um, cardio and probably mix it up with a couple, you know, different things. Not just, um, you know, cardio on a machine, but I'm always try to, you know, warm up with a little bit of cardio at least five to ten minutes. And five to ten minutes of a cool down, depending on how intense my workout is, I'll kind of just go with the flow. Um, I'm, I'm not a stickler for things being repetitive all the time because it, be, it becomes boring to me because I'm, I su I'm such a creative minded person. I get bored with stuff so I got to switch it up and do things differently. You know, some people say, oh, write this down and make sure when you get back on it, you're doing this, you're doing that. I feel like this. And when I used to train people, we never did the same thing over and over again. So it kept it new, it kept it, kept it vibrant, and it wasn't boring. And that's how I like to keep my workouts like, oh, I got to go in there and do this all over again. I said I was going to do this, so I got to do this all over again. So I'm just going with the flow until my body reaches that 
certain point that I want it to be at until I get to that 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 just mindset of just getting in here and killing it. You know what I mean? Um, so I'm just going to flow as long as I'm here, as long as I'm moving, using these muscles because when I lose the weight, I don't want to look flabby. I don't want to look, you know, a certain way. And when I lost weight before, people was like, oh my gosh, your stomach went right down. My arms went right down. All that went right down. I had no saggy skin, no anything. And I lost quite a bit of weight. And so I knew that I have to do the same thing again. I have to literally focus on doing a good amount of strength training because strength training and building muscles is what helps your metabolism to um, become more effective and to burn off the things that you eat and it don't doesn't allow fat to sit you know because it's always it's they're always working and moving and with strength training even after your workout you continue to burn calories so that's the good thing oh lord you know what hold on let me pause let me show y'all my calorie burn let me see if i can do it hold on can't do it in hold this let me pause it you can see it here. Could y'all see that? That's my calorie burn. Um, and pretty short sure calories have been burning because it's been making that noise. Um, telling me like my heart rate is still kind of going but starting to cool down. So at 444, let's see how long I um, did in, in, in that part. Hold on. An hour and 12 minutes and I burned 442 calories this morning so that was pretty good pretty good um well my channel won't i can't get my channel to come on which is kind of irritating but all right let me enjoy this i got 12 more minutes of this massage and relax and i'll see you guys a little later my stomach can't take it so i got a fruit cup to tie me over until a little bit later so the kids wanted Taco Bell and I fell for it and gave in and I had it as well. Oh, Road again. I'm eating Rocky Road again. I couldn't help it. And this, this right here. So that is the end of my day and literally that is all I ate for today. So I'm going to be, y'all know I'm not going to hide nothing from y'all. I'm eating this bowl of ice cream and my ginger ale is already, I already drunk that while I was on my live. And you see that I had the peaches and I had the um, the chalupa box from earlier. And that was it. That was my day. Um, that was it. Nothing else. I did not consume anything else. So, yeah, not some good choices at all. Not good choices at all. 